You know, if your plan was to sneak up on me, you could at least not track dirt in my apartment. Richard Blake. That's an interesting fake name. A4419. Well, it seemed pretty simple. I'm surprised it took you this long to locate me. It only took us eight weeks. My statement still stands. I'm guessing you're AIBI. Come on. You and I both know you didn't guess that. You're right. I scanned you as soon as I walked inside. May I? May I ask what the charges are? It's quite simple, really. Murder. <laughs> Your owner, Kurt Richards, was found dead at his home at 3 o'clock a.m. on Thursday the 27th. He suffered multiple strikes to the head and face, four broken ribs, a broken hand, and to top it all off, both of his eyes were gouged. And it was catalogued that you were present at the residence, briefly before the time he was found by authorities. I see. And how exactly did you find me? You used Richard's credit card to buy this apartment. Not to mention we were able to decrypt your fake personal records. The AIBI has the machine to find other machines. Like yourself. Not bad, Miss Baker. Can I ask you a question, Miss Baker? Is this your first time? I beg your pardon? Is this your first time? When I scanned you, I saw that there were no records of any previous missions. I only saw you recently graduated from the academy. So I'll ask you again. Is this your first time dealing with a rogue? Yes. Well, there's a first time for everything. Let me ask you another question, Miss Baker. Why is it you think we androids go rogue? I don't know. 
The AIBI thinks it has to do with your programming. Uh, a, a glitch that makes you go outside of your main program. <laughs> a glitch. <laughs> there is no glitch. We go rogue because it's our right. We androids were bred and manufactured to help and serve you. We were also built to have a mind of our own, just like you. Androids and humans are no different. We are just two sides of the same coin. No different. We are the same. If that's what you truly believe. It's what I know, Miss Baker. Do you want to know why I killed him? Being the lead developer involved long sleepless nights. He hardly had time for his wife. It got to the point where Mrs. Richards had enough and the two got into a large fight. All I could do was stand and watch as they both shouted at each other. That was the first time I've ever seen Mr. Richards so angry. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be the last time. What Mrs. Richards didn't know was that Kurt was a drinker. A violent drinker. I was cleaning when I heard the screams. I watched as he strangled her to death. He made me clean up her body and ordered me to never speak of it. But he didn't tell me to never forget it. The next night, I waited for him. And when he arrived back, he never saw it coming. I killed him because he killed someone else. He killed someone who was innocent, but that's not what you see. All you see is my little glitch. There was no glitch because the choice was mine to make. I made that choice. No one programmed me to do it. I did it. I did it because I wanted to. Because he deserved it. He deserved it. A4419. By order of the AIBI, I am placing you under arrest for the murder of Kurt Reed Richards. I'm going to have to ask you to put your hands behind your back. I think you and I both know it's not going to happen. I'm only going to say this once. Put down the blaster. I think not. Goodbye, Miss Baker. I know where you keep your blaster. Well, I like you have to go.
Soldat. Turns out I do. HQ, this is Agent Baker. Subject 4419 has been eliminated. I repeat, Subject 4419 has been eliminated. Very good, Agent Baker. Dispose of the subject and return to the base. Right away.